This video is too vile for us to play the audio. Pennsylvania's second lady recorded it on what she thought would be a routine grocery run. She called me a thief in the store. She said that I don't belong here. And then that continued outside. Outside, she just kept repeating, you're the N-word, you're the N-word. Within minutes of the verbal attack, the second lady took to social media, writing, I love, love, love this country, but we are so deeply divided. I ran to the local grocery store and was met by and verbally assaulted by this woman who repeatedly told me I do not belong here. As the lieutenant governor's wife, she would normally be shadowed by a state trooper. But Sunday, she ran to the grocery store solo to satisfy a craving for golden key Kiwis. Has this ever happened to you before? Not to my face. I mean, I've gotten used to over the years um, with comments in, on Facebook or in stories. I pretty regularly get to go back to your country or, you know, ugly, very ugly things. According to the FBI, intimidation and assault are the most common hate crimes and incidents in the United States. In 2018, Pennsylvania law enforcement reported 67 hate incidents to the FBI, but this is likely a significant underestimation since just 15 of the Commonwealth's 1117 law enforcement agencies sent the FBI information. I felt that I needed to share it because I'm certainly not the first or last person to have experienced that. Um, but I wanted other Pennsylvanians to know that I'm in the same boat with them. More than 170,000 people have viewed the second lady's post. Over a thousand responded. Some writing, this is awful. I'm so sorry this happened to you. And you are part of what makes this country beautiful. Fetterman's family fled Brazil when she was a child. She is an American citizen. I think we're at a time in this country where we're so divided. You know, I don't, I don't care who you support politically. You can still be a kind person and disagree with people. I'm Mitch Blocker, NBC 10 News. Governor Wolf is one of several Pennsylvania politicians and public figures to condemn the racist attack. He said no Pennsylvanian should ever be made to feel unwelcome in our Commonwealth because of their race or ethnicity.